he is obviously very different to me, but there's so much that's like me, and that he's a you know he lives in the, the city, and he's a um, doesn't have a proper job, and he's um, <laughs> got too many children, and that, I, mean, I you know I, I I sort of thought oh, it's me basically. I, I better do I better do an accent, and then at least uh, differentiate it. But, uh, but he's uh, and he's come, he's come. Um, well, in this season, anyway, he's developed into a... Uh, I think, essentially, he gets everything he ever dreamt of, and, and he gets enormous uh, fame, fame and success, and so that's where our, our two lives have diverged slightly. <laughs> <laughs> it was really interesting in the grief side of this woman who's lost this child and how you could contrast that with how Noah sees her in that first season. Um, and again, she's someone I felt throughout the first season was trying to escape her life, finding some way to get out of that grief. Mm -hmm. And he provided that momentarily. Right. <laughs> and then this season, it's, she's still clinging on to the idea and hoping that he will get her out of that. Right. You realise that she can never quite get rid of it. And again, in the same way, you know, be careful what you wish for. It doesn't quite, it's not as easy as you hoped it would be. I wouldn't say the point was to damage people. Um, but, but I mean, I do, I do think affairs can be damaging, you yeah. know, um, I don't know, the point is just, was just to tell as, as truthful a story as possible, and not to romanticize it, that was, right. that was the, I guess that was the point from the very beginning, that we weren't trying to tell um, an idealized version of an affair. And I remember everybody saying when the show first came out, they were like, oh, well, I'm not going to watch anything that romanticizes an affair. <laughs> I was like, well, then watch our show. Right. <laughs>